Stan and I have just one weekend and around $2,000 to make over this courtyard. Did you just say indoor outdoor living? <laughs> I did. Or lounge to lawn living. <laughs> Simple but transformative ideas for whether you're renting or on your own home. Plug in your power tools, let's go. So this weekend, Stan, we've got this awesome courtyard to tackle. What do you reckon? Super looking forward to it. Love working in these nice little outdoor spaces. You can turn them around really quickly. You can, but this kind of outdoor space is a bit of a luxury in a townhouse setting, so I'm quite excited to make this one work a little bit harder. I think we need a bit of privacy. Well, privacy obviously is so important in these really built-up areas. At the moment, we're just looking at this concrete driveway, a block wall, and a fence, right? So putting up some greenery, creating a nice secluded space. Exactly, and greenery is a really good way to do that. It's also going to soften up these hard, cold textures we have with the brick and the wood. I think we've got a few other things we need to worry about. There's no furniture. There's nowhere to sit, dine, relax. I think that's one of the first problems we should look at solving. And one thing that's a must is outdoor lighting, right? Ambience is really important when you're trying to create an extra outdoor living area. It is an outdoor courtyard, but it's totally misused as a front door. At the moment, everyone's just coming straight off the driveway, over the retaining wall, and straight through into here, right? Which means, effectively, they've lost an outdoor space. I actually made the same mistake, Stan, and thought it was an entranceway as well. So I think solving that problem will make a big difference in how we transform the space and turn it into a courtyard and bring some of this inside, outside. Well, the sun is shining, Amanda, so let's get the tools out and rip into it, eh? This weekend we'll be turning this blank canvas into an outdoor space the homeowners can enjoy. Starting with the high walls, we'll break things up a bit using decorative panels. Then we'll add mid-height tropical plants for privacy, lots of them. We'll create ambience and atmosphere with outdoor lighting. Of course, we'll add beautiful furniture for dining and entertaining. And lastly, some final touches like an outdoor rug will pull it all together. Just a few easy changes will turn this space from thoroughfare to oasis in just two days. Now this is a space I can see us hanging out in. Yeah, and I know the owners are gonna love hanging out here. And in these townhouses, space is a premium, so you've gotta use every last inch. I think you've done a really good job here, Stan, of making this area a little bit more private for the owners. Yeah, so Amanda, literally we've got, what, a metre and a half of garden here, and just by adding that ficus hedge in, that'll grow up to about six foot tall, that'll create a little bit of extra privacy, and a nice little timber sleeper as a garden edge just creates a little bit more warmth and it creates a lot more softness, right? Because you've got all these hard surfaces, you've got the brick, we've got block there, we've got the concrete drive, so by adding all these plants, that alone just softens it up heaps. Exactly, and that's why we've gone for these softer textures here in the dining room furniture, a wood instead of a harsh metal, and then we've added a nice soft rug underfoot, comfortable seat cushions, and then most importantly added that little bit of colour on the table setting to really kind of liven the space up a little bit. Stan, these screens are a great way to liven up a big blank wall and add a bit of interest. And the little Pahuta Kawa pattern is just a really nice little detail. And just by having it slightly off the wall, it mm. sort of creates a little bit more depth little, as well. A little bit of shadow, Stan, I exactly. like it. Now one of my favourite things is the festooned lighting. Uh, we'll just put that on a steel wire, clip the lighting to it. That creates a nice ceiling because you've got this massive six metre wall and by putting lighting in there, it just sort of feels like you've got this false ceiling. We've got the sparky to hook it up for us, so it was very, very low cost. There are also solar options for these lights as well. In the evening, having the little twinkly light sitting above you as you're diving is quite a nice experience. You know, everything that we've done is just straight off the shelf. The sleepers, the bark, the plants, you know, the festoons. It's a very achievable thing that you can do in a weekend. Exactly, and it is really easy and achievable, Stan. But how did we go on the budget? We spent a couple of thousand dollars, right? But we've literally added thousands in value to this place. We have. I think the owners are really going to be thrilled. They've got an extra space out here to live in, to dine in, to play in. We just need to get an invite to the next party. Good luck with that. <laughs>